Hey, what's up, everybody? Bearded Comic Guy here with another week of our Funko Talk. I'm coming from the Comic Collectors Guild. I got Mexican Reviews and Wink Pop Stash with me, as always. Guys, how are you doing tonight? Doing great. What's up? That's good. That's good. I, you guys are always doing good, so I'm happy. Yeah. Um, so this week... <laughs> this week we got our normal Funko news, we got our pickups, and then we're going to talk about our favorite, or top five DC Pops in our collections. So... I also have a small unboxing. Oh. Are we excited yeah, about this do. unboxing? Not really. <laughs> 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 but it's an unboxing nonetheless. So, yeah. Winx, From what I know, it's it's not a DC thing, so... Well, we'll, let, it, we'll let it slide because <laughs> we're, we're getting a Comic Collector Guild Funko Talk exclusive unboxing. Yeah. This is true. This is true. And it follows under a pickup category, not right. what we're doing. So, yeah. But what are... I got. I only got one pickup, and it's it's not it, it's not going to go with the DC thing anyway, either. So. Well, I was going to segue into letting you show off yours since it's not Funko either. So, And we're excited to see it. Okay. So go ahead. Moving on. All right. <laughs> so what I got in is... Tiny ghost. There it is. The KK. <laughs> okay, fine. Well. Yeah. 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 Stop. You can stop. <laughs> <laughs> we, if for those of you who don't know, Mark absolutely despises kitty cats. Yeah. <laughs> kitty. 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 All right. <laughs> oh god. Anyway. Tiny Ghost, the uh, I don't I don't even the Nik Nico I don't know how to pronounce this thing. I mean, if you can read that, that it's it's not one of those easy ones. But either way, it's a, it's a takeoff of the uh, Good Luck Kitty from Japan culture. Chinese 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 culture. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. Y'all just ain't listening. All right, so. Anyway, they're supposed to be doing a uh, all gold version of this as well, um, but I heard it's going to be a uh, only in the Philippines release, so it's going to be difficult to get. You probably still get it. Uh, no, actually, I don't have any connections in Philippines, and I still have not gotten my hands on any of the Philippines releases, so Aww. probably not. I got a friend but that's got family down there. I do My, like this uh, one. Though, I've got a fiance awesome. that's got family down there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you keep you keep saying. <laughs> oh, but that's okay. that's the only that's the only pickup I got this week. So, onward. Let's, let's go to our exclusive unboxing. Uh, I think what else did I got? I know I got the Chrome Mando. That was actually Ooh. pretty exciting. That finally came in. It was all minty, and it came in right next to this uh, turd. <laughs> 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 Got the uh, Marvel Collector Core Black Widow box. I it's... did want I do want the pin out of it. Trash. <coughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> so we were talking about it, yeah we were talking about it last week and we're like hey you know it's the last day to cancel the box and then I didn't. Totally spaced. Yeah. 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 But uh, let's see what we got we got I mean it's kind of a cool shirt I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Um, waste of money, but I guess. <laughs> Let's see here. All right, got this cool Black Widow Meh. T-shirt. Yeah, it's all Meh. right. It's all right. It's all right. We got this uh, cool Taskmaster pin. Try to get see, that that's okay. Bit. Yeah. Yes, yeah, that's, that, that's not bad. That's the pretty pin's good. cool. Yeah. Yeah. I give it that. We've got a Red Guardian sticker. He's a sticker. Like cap there. Uh, well, as he should. Yeah. yeah. And which one? Which one do we want to see first? I'll go with. Uh, that's funny. His name is Alexi. Yeah, I, I was waiting for it. <laughs> <laughs> you got Hopper as Alexi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alexi, he's holding a little Red Guardian figure. There. 
say it's kind of cool. Let's, let's get them out the box. Take them out the box and take a look at it. I'm sure we would have had so much more appreciation for these if we would have saw the movie. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, you know, so it does suck. Probably. But I still wouldn't want them. But <laughs> I, wouldn't, I don't want them in the box. Like, I would have taken them as, like, exclusives, maybe. But kind of cool. He's all hey. beat up looking. <laughs> I'm cool with a hopper pop. Another hopper pop. <laughs> but now you got a Russian hopper pop. All right. Russian exclusive. All right. Let's get him back in there. And then the lady herself, Black Widow. She's got some kind of crazy, like, grappling hook going on here. Which is fun, maybe. I don't know, because we haven't seen it yet. Stupid Rona. Ah. This is kind of cr- interesting. They put a plastic insert in front of her body so she wouldn't move around. That's kind of different. Hmm. Now that's their way of keeping these sharp points that are on things from poking through the plastic now. No, it was in front of her body, like this. In front, like... That is this. weird. Weird. Yeah, so that's different. But yeah, she got a little grappling hook thing. So, okay. Yeah. She's looking a little beat up. As yeah. Well. Yep. But yeah, that's the uh, that's the box, and then next month should be pretty awesome. We got X Men twentieth anniversary. Twenty anniversary. I'm pumped for that. Yeah, that's gonna be cool. I hope they got some fire in there. Probably yeah. won't. But <laughs> they've had they've had be good boxes. They've had good boxes with this. Yeah, the Black Widow one. I I didn't buy any merchandise for the movie as it is, so Neither did I. spending the money for this box, like I'm happy I was able to cancel it because I the pin would have been cool to have, but I wouldn't have worn the shirt and the pops just like the Fantastic Four. Love the Fantastic Four, you know. They didn't collect the pops; they were cool, but I could have gone without them. It's so weird. Yeah, that's the Black Widow box. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> All right. I'm going to start messing with that. All right. What'd you get? Just throw it aside. Where, where's your, where's your uh, Mandalorian? He's way over there. Oh. Okay. Um, he's, uh, he's out of immediate reach. Forget it. It ain't happening. <laughs> so, uh, no pops this week, but I did get some figures in. Got my Arkham Batman nice. and Arkham Joker from the wonderful Chris from our group. And then I got my beautiful oh, man. Set. So we got more. See now got... that is that is a set I am wanting and as I see it. And one of these are is coming to you. Ah, uh, yeah, we talked about that. I know. <laughs> Thank you very much for that, by the way. You're welcome. Watch out. We got Sunfire. But as that being my uh, favorite X Men series, I kind of need all those. Yeah. X Men. And then Nate. Jean, Jean and Jean. She's and, smushed and in that, there with that face. And that giant sugar man. Pushed in there. Yeah, this is a cool wave. I'm super pumped. I'm super pumped to get the Apocalypse that they announced a couple weeks before this line. Oh, yeah. Uh, so that kind of sets it up that I'm going to set up a cool uh, Age of Apocalypse display. Pull some figures from uh, my... X-Men shelf, like Blink, a couple other ones. Um, and then my last pickup was my Black Clover Asta version B, which is one I wanted. Um, these are the two that you could have gotten. And his regular and his with his, uh, with his like demon power coming out. Um, oh. 
So I was super excited. I love Black Clover, and this is the first one that they're coming out of this line. So, um, I did see that Batman today, uh, but I have them on pre-order, so I decided not to spend the money today and just wait for the pre-order to go. Yeah. So I I had them on pre-order, and then you know someone in our group saw them, and and I was like, okay, I'll cancel. Someone wants to send them off. Yeah. I, I I didn't want to wait. I I wanted them because now I gotta hunt for the blue version. That's oh, in the yeah. stores now. Um so I definitely want that and then the uh white knights are I don't know when they're coming out, but I just wanted to secure these, get them out of the way. Something cool that I did ship is the uh my Animated series as real as Batman figure shipped, so that's gonna be cool. Again. I don't know. I don't know. Know if you guys remember that series from back in the day in the '90s when Bane broke Bruce Wayne's back. Asriel took over the mantle, and he had this crazy like high tech suit, and that's what this is. But it looks like animated. Nice. Yeah, I know the storyline. I have the uh, the comic of it. Where it's got that shot of Bane breaking Batman's back all right on the cover. It's yeah, that's cool. It is Sweet. cool. It's cool. So you wanna start with some news? Yeah. Um not too much going on this past week. A lot of stuff we touched on um on the last episode. We did get a good look at the Last of Us uh part two Ellie. So I am I am actually very excited about these. I'm going through The Last of Us Part 1 right now um, with my fiancé so she can get caught up on the storyline and I can play the next one for her also. Because she's, you know, she's doing her Animal Crossing thing and I'm doing my Last of Us thing. So there's Ellie, grown-up Ellie. I hope we get a uh, one Ellie red shirt with the sunrise on it. Um, and she's got her new tattoo here and everything. Signature cross, uh, Switchblade. Do you guys play uh, The Last of Us at all? I have not. By you, Beard? No. I don't have a PlayStation. You should. You should have a PlayStation. <laughs> you should. <laughs> and, then, and then get The Last of Us Remastered because it's one of the best games of the generation, of the last generation, and of this, you know, it's my favorite game of all time, so... Check it out, okay? I see. Uh, yeah. So, we had this creepy thing pop up on the Funko shop last week, and it was terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> the Fanta Clown. I did not know this was a thing. Freaking clowns, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, he looks innocent enough, but he also looks super creepy at the same time. <laughs> That's not innocent. Now, see, if you know the actual history on this, it was their mascot in the 60s, mm-hmm. and I swear he invented the double fisting of drinks. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. Because the earliest art from, uh, from, from the 60s with that character, he's always got two sodas guzzling them. Nice. We also got an announcement on uh, what the next uh, Avengers Assemble pop is going to be for the uh, collection. If And they're going in order from the scene from where they started. So they started with uh, Hulk. And then we got Hawkeye. So the next in order would be uh, Thor. It started with Iron Man. My bad. And then went to Hulk. Yeah. Hawkeye. Yeah. And then the next one after that, after Hawkeye ships, is going to be Thor. So we got to look at that finally. After that is. will be Black Widow, Black Widow and then yep. Cap. Yep. So I'm I'm really digging this. I like the Chitauri oh, yeah. kind of mask here that's on the ground. Yeah. Pipes and everything. So that'll be got fun. Mine. Are you are you guys got getting mine. this? Oh, I already ordered that. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh yeah, I'm excited. And then finally, 
Um, we had something I'm not watching. I don't know if I'm going to watch it. We'll see. But we got uh, a look at the base force pops. Um, and they are what they are, I guess. <laughs> eh. And the, the thing started, about it is... I, go ahead. I started watching the show and uh, I just couldn't get into it. Yeah. It's think, much like the, the, uh, the Office for me. I know, I know, I know. You're a fan. <laughs> I mean... I like Parks and Rec better. So. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, I, um, I can't stand either of them. So. <laughs> Parks and Rec is amazing. Okay. Why don't we, nah, why don't we calm no, down. No, 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 no. You need to calm down, fanboy. <laughs> uh, but here we are with the Space Force. What bothers me about this is that these aren't even, you know, they usually give like glams, glam-ish shops with these announcements, and these are just digital things thrown on a background. What? Well, I can't believe they didn't even wait like 24 hours for the show to be out. And right. they, they threw these out here, you know, and that that comes down to uh, you know, the things that we've talked about where there's properties that we want stuff from. And there's, you know, this show that they don't even know is going to be good or not. Right. Uh, right. And they're putting these out. So that's what I don't like. Uh, the thing, too, is I wonder if it's with their deal with Netflix, like, Netflix is like, we want these. And they're like, well, here they are, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's our, uh, that's our news for the week. Pretty slow week. Indeed. Um, so hopefully, you know, we got some stuff coming out. Um, I guess this is kind of noteworthy. We've got a new My Chemical Romance that was announced. This is yeah. going to be a Hot Topic exclusive. Um, my fiance will probably need this. We have all the other ones, so <laughs> kind of keep the uh, keep it uh, complete. Um, I guess we could, if you guys want, we can go over this list of stuff that came out. Why um, not? Yesterday. So... Here we are. We got the couple, a few Elvis pops, which is going to be cool. Um, Dragon, Harry Potter, Ron and Hermione. Got some new Halo pops coming. What's um, cool about that is those are for the new game because that's Halo right. Infinite. Infinite, yep. We got these uh, board game mascots coming out Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Uh, criminal. That could be cool. Yeah, criminal. Uh, penny bags, which will probably be awesome, and yep. popple with Chase. That's gonna be what it is. <laughs> um, oh. Disney sixty five. They got Captain Hook and Peter Pan in new poses. Got some new turtles. Yeah, not sure what those are from, but those will be cool. How I Met Your Marnie. Uh, How I Met Your Mother. Barney in a suit. And Ted. Uh, those will be the uh, pop vinyl versions. In the okay. two packs, not actual oh, okay. pops. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, the uh, mm. the, the turtles. turtles. Okay. Yeah, but but how they? But they're no, that? they're spelled there's vinyl. They're, yeah, there's there's it's spelled vinyl regular, not how they spell it in that line. Huh. Yeah, and there's I, five. I, yeah, true. Uh, Don't know. A Don't new know. wave of the office pops. We got some mystery minis coming too, it looks like. Um, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. Uh, I'm not sure what this is here. SP. Is that South Park? Yeah. Yeah, South Park. South Park, yeah, South all, Park yeah. yeah. Butters. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then some NFL legends. Reggie White, Randy Moss. Vince Lombardi, that's cool. So, Howie Long, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, those are that's a list that was announced uh, or leaked yesterday. We're not too sure. You know, I always take these lists with a grain of salt until Funko actually announce them, announces them. But right. uh, most of the time, they're kind of spot on. So, um, those are exciting for the most part. I'll, I'll probably get some of those uh, Mattel lines, the Criminal uh, penny bag is is a definite, and those Halo ones for sure. Yeah, but that's all I got for you guys. That's exciting. <laughs> um, 
So I guess just let's go into this. Um, so we wanted to go over last week we talked about grails, and now we're going to be talking about our top five DC pops in our collection. So this doesn't have to be grails. This could be something that just looks great, story behind it, whatever the case may be. Um, so, when you guys want to go first, you want me to go. Uh, do you do you want to go at the same time with your two pack there that I saw? And. <laughs> <laughs> What do you say? What? Did it freeze for you guys? Yeah, it did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, I love this one. Yeah, absolutely. This is a great one. It's 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 thick like wings. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not the the same size. I'll use a uh, I'll use one of my runner ups to show a comparison. Uh, it's not like a regular two pack. Yeah. Well, okay. it's because they got the uh, the flying and the running poses that they got to yeah. accommodate for. Uh, I'll, I'll crack the, the, the mother lake open. <laughs> the uh, the flash has some really cool lightning effects going on. Yes, yeah, so this is from the race of the end of Justice League that they did, and again, fantastic! Oh, my gosh. Who, uh, who do you guys got in that race? They, they freaking tied them down. Uh, I, hold on, I'll, I'll get mine out because mine isn't. Don't don't crack the seal. I'll do it. Yeah, I know yours is already cracked. I would. Who do it. I got in that race? Uh, Flash, definitely. Yeah, definitely. I'm glad you guys are smart. <laughs> See, the, I do love how they did this. Oh my gosh. They, I mean that that is cool. Who knows where that, where this piece of plastic's coming from, <laughs> <laughs> or or where it resides up in? Um, yeah. uh, I don't know. Yeah, that it's it's a good looking pop. Like, Absolutely, it's, it's fantastic. They they knocked this one out of the park. Uh, see that flash one? That is pretty slick. Like yeah, I'm glad. Uh, you know, yeah. I'm really glad they did this because the other ones they had like an action pose on him, but it was trash. So yeah. this cool running pose with the lightning effects. So since that we're on this, cool. I'm going to go into one of my other ones because of the story behind it. But the Regal unmasked one, because this was fun to go find when the movie came out. I had to go to about 10 different Regals. All of them got like maybe two or three Jeez. around me. So right. this was uh, pretty fun because I, I think I watched Justice League three times when it came out, like the day it came out. Hmm. Uh, don't judge me. I mean, Justice League is. Not I enjoyed bad. it. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it. So you know, that's this was this was a fun one. And I think it it looks good with you know, I I loved how they did his suit for pops. Yeah. I with I have that one also, and how I I just evade it, and I spent probably about the amount I would have spent driving the closest Regal is about an hour from me, so I would have spent the same amount on the pop that I did driving down there, getting the tickets, getting food, and right. watching the movie as I would on you know just to get the pop. So right. I wasn't too right. upset about that. Um, so I guess I'll just keep going since okay. I had my flash. Uh, so my third one is actually the Aquaman from the movie as well. Uh, this was in the collector core box. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that water effect is fantastic. Absolutely. You know, this is one of those ones that I think they, uh, oh God, they just did fantastically. The Just a good, just a good looking pop. Yeah. Um, nah. I actually because... traded or sold off all of the uh, Justice League pops I've I had, yeah. Except that one, that one, that design I had to hang on to. Yeah, so it was super good. 
Yeah, and then I think one of the other Justice League ones that is one of my favorites is I I customized one, and uh, there was a SDCC Bruce Wayne, so I took the helm the head off of that and put it on a Batman body. Mm-hmm. So I've got an Very unmasked nice. Batman. Nice. And then my other one is another collector core. I'm cheating. But uh, <laughs> that's a good one though. This oh, yeah, three pack. This, this is so good. <laughs> You know, we don't get a lot of Green Lantern stuff as it is. Right, so yeah. them jamming all three of these beasts in there, you know, the Kilowog I think looks so good in this too. Yeah. Like this is this is just a good a good pack. I love that whole box that this came in too. Yeah. Like it was it was just a good box. I still um, wear that shirt. So Yeah. I mean we just wore it for our, our uh, blackest night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And then my last one, because it's hard to go through all this without Batman, would be the the Hush Batman. Yeah, I think nice. this is probably one of the best Batmans that they have come out with, and they needed needed Jin Lee's help, so I'll take it. My favorite one. I love that whole series, but I didn't want to drown it all out with that. Right. So I shall pass it on. Well, and that was one I was going to pick. <laughs> yeah, Red Death. Uh, this was one of my most anticipated pops last year, until the the Papa Emeritus pop came out out of nowhere, and then that was my favorite of uh, 2019. But uh, yeah, after you know that storyline came out, and Flash and Batman being my favorites, I needed this. And then I got a lot of hope when the Batman Who Laughs pop came out. And then they put this guy in the 80 year. Uh, yeah. But online, and it is so good. So good. You know, I, I don't know how they could have made it much better. So. Yeah. That whole metal series, they are knocking it out of the park. Yeah. Uh, are they done yet? No, we still need the drowned. Uh, yeah, and we need um, oh the one that went to murder okay. machine. Murder oh, machine. okay. I wonder if they're gonna give us the big guy. What was the, his name? The uh, the guy who like put it all in the motion. Oh, yeah. I can't remember. It's been a while since I read that. Uh, next is this, uh, reverse flash from, uh, Dallas Comic-Con. Now, I don't, this is not the glow in the dark one. I wish it was cause that, that is my grail. That's the one that I want. The one pop I want more than anything right now is the, uh, the glow in the dark reverse flash from the same convention. Um, but a very good friend of mine. You, we hadn't talked for a while and he hit, you know, we were just kind of, talking one day and we were talking about my uh instagram channel he's like oh i think i have uh, a reverse flash i can send it to you if you want and i'm like ah, yeah, uh yes yes please <laughs> and i thought it was you know the uh the glow in the dark one and i'm like offering to pay for it and stuff like that like give him something for it and uh he wouldn't have it but he sent that and, and it's not the glow in the dark but it's still amazing i love that dude for sending that so um this one is one of the first six pops I bought because I bought six pops in one day, and that was the first pops that I ever got. And it was the uh, the Dark Knight Batman. The box has long since been gone. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's pretty simple. You know, you got to get back in the day, the hero pose and everything. He's all chubby and stuff. But uh, I still really appreciate this one just because it got me started. And then there's uh this guy. It is Batman Forever, signed by Val Kimmer. Nice. Uh, I got I was fortunate enough to uh, meet him last year and get this signed, and this is one of my favorite signed pops. So. Dope. Yeah. yeah. He is uh. He's awesome still. Uh, he's in rough shape though. He uh, he had uh, throat cancer 
Ooh. and he he uh, had to get that taken care of. So now he's I think he's got you know a stoma going on because he's always if you see him now he's always wearing a scarf or something, and he was having to touch his neck and stuff like that when to talk to us and stuff. But he's still great and uh, yeah, that's one of my favorites. So nice. Yep. Pass it over to you, Mr. Winks Hopstash. Okay, that's that's me. All right, um, I might as well start with the one that started it all, the OG number seven Superman. I'm not going to unbox it because, well, it's just – it's a simple pose. There's nothing to it. Yeah. But uh, this was gifted to me, and then uh, no box. It was just – you like Superman because they saw my tattoo, and then uh, I was like, yeah, so they gave it to me. But – it sat on my nightstand for about a year, and then my dog ate it. <laughs> <laughs> so during that whole year, I never picked up any pops. Uh, just that had that one. But after he ate it, I'm like, yeah, I, I need that one. So I hunted down another one, found it in box, so I kept it that way. And yeah. doggy doesn't get a hold of it anymore. Um, next, we've got uh, – we'll do the repeat from last week, but Superboy – up. Yeah, I went through some stuff to get this one, but uh, long wait. Again, when it came out, I had it in my hand, put it down, hadn't seen it since <laughs> until until I did, so I had to get that. Uh, let's go. Yeah, why not this one? This one, there's the box, there's the pop, because this Ooh. one's just cool. Shiny! I like the shiny. I remember that guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a buddy with a red <laughs> card hook it up for me. <laughs> well, you know. Shall we name nameless? Right. <laughs> Mark. All right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but I, I, I'm not – well, I do like the chrome pops. I, I kind of do. I'm going to be one of those, what, two people that say they like the chrome pops, but I do. But this one is just – they they did a really good job on this. It's not fully meta- you know, metallic, but it it just looks good. It really does. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of my favorites. And then I got Fox because he snuck out. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, because I love the storyline and they just did an awesome, awesome job on this. I With agree. that drink in his hand. With the drink in his hand. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. <laughs> yeah, this one's cool. Then we got to round it out. Pow. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. A little salt in the wound for you. Yeah. Uh, I actually won this in a waffle on Facebook, along with the Zur in our Batman. Ooh. Yeah, one I've slot. I've never seen that. One slot, nine dollars. I won both of those at a time when they were at their highest value. Right. So I was ecstatic. You've never seen the Batman Zero and R? I've seen it. I've never seen it like in hand. If it wasn't such a pain in the butt to get out of my <laughs> detolf, I would show it to you in hand. But I'm not I mean, gonna... in my hand. In your hand, yeah. Well, <laughs> it's not leaving my hand, so tough. Tough nuggies, buddy. <laughs> but, yeah, that's all I got for that. Very okay. nice. Moving on. So now that you know, you've – I know I had to go through all of my DC pops. What are – what's two pops that you want? From DC, right now. Um, that that uh, glow in the dark reverse flash. No, and, no, no. That they haven't made. Oh, that they haven't made. That they haven't made. That. I want is Damien. A long list. Yes, Damien. Yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, and I would enjoy a Super Sons Rebirth two pack, so I can get Damien and uh, whatever. Oh. We've gotten Wally West, but it's the CW Flash Wally. I want comic Wally, either the yellow and the red or the red with the silver. They already did that. What was the Hot Topic one? 
the hot topic chase. Oh yeah, yeah. No, yeah, you're right. That one. That's I'm, the that's the so comic I need the wallet, other yeah. one. I need. I, I completely forgot about that. <laughs> but yeah, I need, uh, I need the, uh, that, uh, the red and the silver logo. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, so like the new Fifty Two, Wally. Uh, it, it was yeah. It was that into Rebirth. Yeah. 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 But I can dig it. Yeah. And I wouldn't mind a uh, the a new Batgirl. Yeah. Uh, what's her face? Sandra? Is it is it Sandra Kane? Kane? Sandra mm. Kane. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. We're gonna get some hate if that's wrong. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we are. Big time. Considering, you know, I'm over here rocking a Batman shirt and I'm not even quoting Batman characters correctly. <laughs> oh my gosh. Cassandra Kane. It just hit me. I said that. You said yeah. Sandra, didn't you? Just, no. just, just Sandra. No, okay. You then I misheard Sandra. you. <laughs> I did. I did. Yes. Is she? Because Barbara Gordon's not Batgirl, right? Not in Rebirth, because no. she's no. Uh, what's her face? Oracle. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's got to be Cassandra Kane. Am I tripping right now? <laughs> oh, God. Awkward pause. <laughs> Whatever. We'll figure it out later. <laughs> Tell us in the comment who the Reaper that girl is. <laughs> um, we really yeah. need your assistance. Please comment below. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, yes. this is going to drive us insane. I want a whole rebirth pop line. Another one that would be cool would be a Kyle Green Lantern. That'd be fun what, with the armor what, and the and the mask. When was the last oh yeah Green Lantern? Other than these, when was the last Green Lantern that came out? It was the uh, the Walgreens John Stewart. No, it was the um, Jim Lee uh, comic moment. That yes, yes, it was. Yes, it does. Yes, it <laughs> okay. does. Okay, it does. Come count. on, that's fine. I have it, but like, I'm trying to think of when. Are you gonna have it and say it doesn't count? Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> because a single, a single, uh, pop. Okay, release. so that one would be. Uh, but that was a. That was, 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 no, was a single no, pop, no. though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> Because they didn't. That was the only Green Lantern that they did for that line too. They didn't do the deluxe like Batman that you showed. Yeah. They did right. the the comic moment, which right. was unfortunate because we got everybody else. Yeah, literally everybody true, else. True, true, yeah. true. Except for Cyborg. What? Cyborg didn't get any anything That's, at all. This is not Cyborg never gets any love, man. Is, oh. He was <laughs> kind of possible. Was he so? Teen Titan or Titan at that point? At the beginning of the New 52, I thought he was... He was a, like... At the new beginning of the New 52, he was basically rewritten as a founding member of the original Justice League. Which... Okay, we, we gotta stop talking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get in trouble. <laughs> no, uh, no I'm, it was, he was basically... Was it Dark Side War kicks in and he was like one of the original members okay. when they came together. Yeah. But then it was Teen Titans and all that. So he basically got kicked off the Justice League, went to the B team, and like I said, Cyborg never gets any love. You know? Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of there. Well, what are your favorite DC pops in your collection and what would you want them to make? Uh, comment below. Let us know. Um, we're still looking at our 500 subscriber giveaway. You see in our pops come out every week. We got some heat that we will be giving away. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you share us out, like this video, go follow the Comic Collectors Guild, go follow these guys. Uh, if you want to apply, comiccollectorsguild.com. Make sure you go apply there. Make sure you share your email, Instagram, Facebook, whatever social media you use so we can reach you. 
um, see your collections, see what see what types of things you do collect. Uh, we appreciate you guys watching, guys. I appreciate you joining me as always. You too, of course. Uh, Feel the love. <laughs> and as always, keep hunting. Later.